How the hell am I already down to what? Two fucking bars? Are you fucking serious? Oh, this camera's battery is so fucking weak. <sighs> not surprised, actually, considering, well, sometimes it supercharges, or not supercharges, but, you know, excessive amount of charging. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> it is what it is. Hello, I'm the zombie. <laughs> I didn't upload a video at all today, so here I am with this video. This is a mock review of a mock. Yes, it's a mock. Bionicle mock. And he is dubbed the Vampiric Tyrant. Named after a Satanic War Master song, of which I don't listen to anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I felt it was fitting to, you know create some co some kind of a vampiric tyrant of some sort this this evil um, you know um, whatever you know he's a he's a clearly inspired by vampires like Nosferatu and Dracula and also um, with also adding in my own touch to it um, He's using a modified mask I've had for so fucking long. And, and it might look like his head's a little too big for his body and the rest of them. Originally this started out as a Toa design, one of the dark Toa. But then I built I, I, I was playing around with the with the head design and I was like, you know. Yeah, I'd rather build this. So the Toa will have to wait at some point. <sighs> That's going to be fun to try to find parts for. <clears throat> He's got a chain around his neck. And of course he does have a color scheme of black and gunmetal with very little silver. Including silver on his mask and on his, uh, well these little barbs that are on uh, either of his forearm shoulder, or just not shoulder, uh, forearm armor. He does have a knife that he uses to stab his victims, make them bleed, and then he sucks their blood out of them. Yeah. He's vicious. Uh, torso armor for the shoulder armor, or upper arm armor, with these blades, because it looks cool. <laughs> um, so he does have a the shortest bone piece for a neck. And there's a friction adder attached to the brain attack head in trans green of some sort. I can't remember which one. How am I down to one fucking bar of battery? Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell? Ugh. This camera pisses me off sometimes. Ow. <laughs> I need a drink of tea. Probably have to charge this fucking camera again. <laughs> oh well. It doesn't matter, I guess. Four long armor shells for the lower arm armor as well as shoulder armor right here and here. So, uh, CCBS chest armor add-on. Glad that I had a plain one of those in gunmetal instead of, you know, the gunmetal ones that have printing on them. I still don't know how to, you know, uh, remove said printing. There are methods out there, but I'm not sure if I'm particularly uh, confident in using chemicals. So I don't think I want to. Uh, black CCBS fists, because fisting. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, he has Paraka Claw featured in black. I'm surprised these lasted as long as they did. Um, up until, well, probably the end of Hero Factory, and that's it. So, well, actually, it was probably Hero Factories when, where, is where these died. Uh, but they also lasted for Legends of Chima. And probably something else, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Friction adder on his, his ankles. Uh, b bone pieces, both the, uh, the upper leg and, and lower legs are the same exact bone pieces, just the lower leg. One with the two pinholes. 
gunmetal uh, five long armor shell piece as upper leg armor for both legs. Um, he does have <laughs> two more of this damn black uh, CCBS torso armor add uh, well armor piece in black, obviously, because I have five of those in the same fucking drawer. That's not hard enough, that's what she said. Yeah, there we go. Wait a minute, what the? Oh, I forgot I was doing something earlier today. Wake up, computer. Hang on a sec. Uh, uh, I said, ah. Uh. All right, there we go. Oh, good, it's done. Uh, the, 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 yeah, okay, good. Sorry, I was doing something. <laughs> oh, well. That's, uh, <laughs> something I completely forgot I was doing. So, okay. Okay, that worked. Good. Yay. Alright, good. Now, I can get the flash drive out. <coughs> there we go. Put that later. Click that. Wait, what? Oh. Boom, boom. And finally, what the crap, computer? Die. Die. I said die. Thank you. Stupid. Alright. Sorry about that. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, but yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five of these black uh, CCBS Hero Factory 2.0 armor shells. Armor. Uh, torso armor shells. And I wanted to use them, so. Yeah. <laughs> I used them. And, uh. Well, I feel like it works for this mock. Uh, the upper arms are basically the upper leg uh, bone piece with the pinhole, and the lower arm is the lower leg, lower arm piece in, uh, with a pinhole in it. Imagine one of these with the pinhole instead of up here, but down here. Ooh, that might give some bootleggers out there some ideas. Um, or you can... 3D print or resin print. I don't care. Uh, and I also have a couple of these. One of these pieces from the Savage Planet sets. <sighs> Nothing particularly exciting there. It's just kind of fluff, I guess. <laughs> um, let's uh, move his arms. Give him a T pose. <laughs> so he does have a <laughs> he does have crotch armor, I guess you could say. Yep. Let's, uh, let's flip over his cape. There we go. Piece of Unity from Bionicle 2016 in gunmetal right there. Uh, Hordika neck. There's a couple of them on either side. Um, that's basically it. He does have... Well, there's his ass. Ah, crap. He does have one of these slicer feet pieces in uh, black. I just put that there and said hell with it, so, um, because I had two of those actually. Not sure what I'm going to use the other one for, but hey, it's usable. It's doable. This cape is obviously attached on. This one's completely, uh, fine. It's got a tear, uh, somewhere in the one area, um, but it's connected, obviously, to the main, uh, torso, neck, socket area. Rip. Fuck. This cape has holes <laughs> because I did that apparently, and it's connected to these ball joints on the Hordika necks. So that's cool. It's got this kind of a double cape approach, you know, two layer sort of thing, and um, I like it. So he's a vampire. Gotta have some kind of uh, some kind of cape, you know. Vampires have capes mostly. Um. Trying to think what I did in the torso. Ah. Just a technic piece. Nothing special there. Ah, there we go. Put 
composability, obviously, you know. Um, well, okay, so these blades keep hitting these uh, horns spiraling off of his head. And, uh, but other than that, you've got bend at the elbow. You can do this. Yeah. Rotate at the wrists. Um, he can stab. Yeah. And, um, also move the le legs that can splay so he can piss. Yeah. Um, because of this uh, skull armor piece as flat as it is that I made it, I had to squish it. Um, so it's kind of hard for him to move his leg forward, so he kind of has to, you know, uh, yeah, it's just impossible to do that, but, <laughs> you know, at least he can bend the knee like this. Wow. So, and of course the ankle is articulate. So, the problem here in lies is the camera being stupid. Um, is the crotch armor uh, is limiting uh, the uh, Posability in the legs. Well, you can kind of go forward. You just kind of have to force it, but then that plucks off. So, um, yeah. Other than that, articulation is fine. Uh, I will go ahead now and go over the head. The head is um, obviously I already told you about the neck and the CCBS. Uh, well, the brain attack head, but the this. The Hordika necks on either side of the head are both have this uh, socket, CCBS socket on either side. And uh, I have these demon horns right here from Pyrox. And so I thought this looked kind of cool, but then I decided to go further with, it, with this broken fucking, uh, well the socket is at least broken on this fucking uh, foot piece. And of course, the modified Chirox mask. Is it Chirox or Kirox? Kyrox? I don't know. I pronounced this Chirox for as long as, you know, the set was a thing. Um, you know, cut that uh, bit off. And, you know, I don't recommend doing that, but if you want your Chirox mask to be smaller than what it already is, you know, just cut all that off and you'll be fine with this. Same thing with Mutron's mask. Um, you know, if you want the lime green instead of the silver, so. But he does have these fangs so he can bite and steal your blood. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know. It's nowhere near Halloween, but hey, I wanted to make a vampire mock because I made a werewolf mock. In fact, let's compare the two supernatural monsters. So. Here's Mr. Feisty himself, the werewolf. <laughs> so yeah, nice ripping sound. Feel free to use that from the video. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop. And here's the vampire. Obviously, the wor they're somewhat um, compatible in terms of height. So, look. Imagine a battle for... Uh, like a bionicle stop motion, either that or just uh, the 3D animated video uh, movie sort of thing, a CGI movie where it's these two going up against each other. The vamp, the vampire tyrant versus the werewolf. I don't know what the title would actually be, but let's see, wolf versus vampire or something like that. I don't know. Or just Bionicle, Werewolf versus Vampire. <laughs> I don't know. But this will be on the poster. <laughs> yeah, these two kind of uh, staring each other down. And yeah. So. I don't know. <laughs> I got weird ideas for Bionicle stuff. <clears throat> Mixing Bionicle with horror and stuff like that, and vampires, and werewolves, and Satan, and other stuff. So, um, so, 
What do you think about Mr. Vampire right here? This is the Vampiric Tyrant. That's his name. He doesn't have an actual name. I haven't given him a, I have I haven't given him a name because I don't really care, honestly. I feel like the Vampiric Tyrant perfectly summarizes what this character is about. So uh Count Dankula, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> what did you call him? Count Drunkula? Because he gets drunk off of people's blood? I mean, seriously. <laughs> the vampires will bite you and drink your blood. Um. <sighs> no sucking noises, that's just disgusting. Anyway. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. I wonder how he would look with the Mutron uh, mask instead of, you know, Chirox mask. It's the same fucking mask, but with the lime green and the silver uh, replaced. So, I don't know. He looks pretty cool. So, what do y'all think? I know it's nowhere near uh, Halloween, but hey, I figured I would do this vampire mock. It looks pretty fucking cool. And the werewolf still looks pretty fucking cool, too. So... If I had to recommend a vampire-related anime, it would be Tonari no Kyuketsuki-san. Um, otherwise known as Miss Vampire Who Lives in My Neighborhood. The Tale of Sophie Twilight. Yes. It's also Yuri. Um, so stay tuned for more mock reviews. Um, actually, I don't think I would ever recommend... Rosario and Vampire, or Rosario plus Vampire, because I've never watched it. But I heard it was kind of stupid, to some degree. I don't know. It has its fans, obviously, but hey. <laughs> if you like vampires, let me know what your favorite Dracula movie is. Um, obviously, there was an anime film from like, for, from like 1981, I think? I don't remember. Uh, there was, it was based off like a Marvel comic, I think. I don't know. Anyway, point is, vampires. <sighs> so what do you think about this mock? Let me know in the comment section below. And I guess I did promise some reviews, so I will have at least two more reviews for y'all today before the day ends. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I'm the Zombie J. I'll see you folks later. Have a good fucking day and peace.